Well, hello there. In case you've ever wondered what I look like after a long ass day of freelancing, you're looking at it, baby. I did prom makeup most of my day today and I was gonna come home and I was gonna nap, but I don't nap like a regular human being. Most people take like 20 minute naps, refresh themselves and go on about their lives. I go in full bear hibernation mode and take like a solid four hour nap and then I ask myself why I'm awake at four in the morning. So instead of going to sleep, I've decided to film my Drugstore Heroes Part 2. If you missed my first one, I will link it in the description box and in this window somewhere. Drugstore Heroes is basically my nerdy way of saying drugstore favorites. So these are all drugstore products that I think are pretty top-notch, very comparable to department store if not better, products that will give you value, and just overall really kick-ass products. I started this series a while back and I completely forgot about it, so I thought I would resurrect it and do a part two. Usually when I find an amazing high-end product that has kind of a steep price tag on it, the first thing I do is write it down, photograph it with my brain, and then I basically go on a hunt to find the same product from a different brand with a smaller price tag. And I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten pretty good at it. If, say, I can't find an equivalent, I will more than likely just cave and purchase the department store one, but I can't stress enough that there are so many drugstore products that are almost identical to department store products if not better so that's what this series is about just a bunch of products that I found are amazing and really just satisfy me in my first drugstore heroes video I actually broke down drugstore versus department store for you so I highly recommend you check it out and without further ado let's dive in some of these may seem repetitive from other favorites videos but that's okay. I'm gonna start off with the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. These are the balm. No pun intended. Sometimes I catch myself going into Sephora and walking up and down the aisles. I always stop in the Tarte section and I always stare at their lip stains. And I'm always tempted to purchase them, but then I remember that these are like a fraction of the price and exactly the same, if not better. I've talked about these in the past and I can't say enough about them. They feel really great on the lips. They do stain the lips quite nicely, they're very hydrating, and I find the shade that looks nicer on my lips the more that the gloss wears off. They have a really great fresh minty scent, there's a really great shade selection, they're retractable which is dope, they're a great price, and overall just a huge win. Revlon has yet to let me down with their lip category. In North America these range from like eight to ten dollars depending on where you're picking them up from, so I highly highly recommend picking one up if you haven't tried it already. Next I've got a product which you've seen me use to death in pretty much all my tutorials, and it is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Single Eyeshadow in Brulee or Creme Brulee. This is an absolutely amazing base and eyebrow bone shade. It is very comparable to Brulee by MAC. I've repurchased this many times and I highly recommend it. I think it's like $2.99. It's super pigmented, it applies to the eyelid beautifully. It's great if you want to soften out the edges of your eyeshadow. I use it to clean up around my eyeshadow a little bit with it. Just an overall awesome eyeshadow and it's a great value, so definitely pick this up. Next I've got the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow and Eye Pencil, and this is in taupe. I use this for my eyebrows, and I talked about this in a drugstore haul a few months ago. I've repurchased this twice since. I believe it comes in a bunch of different shades. A little bit goes a long way. I believe this is also like $1.99 or $2.99. I find when I fill in my eyebrows with this, I use it very light-handed, and it gives a really powdery finish. Then I'll just take a spoolie and sort of brush out any excess that I have in, but this is a perfect shade if you have my hair color or a little bit darker. I keep one in my purse and I keep one at home and I think that these are really awesome, so definitely check them out. Another product that I rave about and use all the time is the Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Base. I'm like the poster child of Essence Cosmetics that they never knew they had. I just love their products, man. They're really inexpensive, they're really awesome. This eyeshadow base in particular is like... Top notch. It reminds me of a liquid form of the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. It blends beautifully on the lids. It adheres eyeshadow like a dream. I find that it really prevents creasing on my eyelids. It's inexpensive and it lasts forever. One little tube like this should last you easily for five, six months. I believe this is like $3.99 and in Canada you can find Essence at Shoppers Drug Mart and in the US you can find it at Fred Meyer 
and I believe Ulta. I get asked this a lot, so check out your Ulta or your Fred Meyer. Next we have the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadows. These eyeshadows are absolutely redonkulous. I remember the first time I ordered them online, I think I purchased like five or six. They came in the mail, I swatched them, I played with them, I tried them on, and then I proceeded to pick my jaw up off the ground. They're crazy pigmented, they have a great shade selection. They are very finely milled and velvety to the touch. You know how sometimes you'll purchase a mineral eyeshadow and it's really gritty and you can tell that it's not really fine? Not these bad boys. I've done a tutorial with just e.l.f. mineral eyeshadows, which I will link below as well and they come in a shimmery and a matte finish. The matte finish ones are gorgeous as well, so I would definitely recommend those. If you have a medium to deeper skin tone, the shimmer mineral eyeshadows will look absolutely breathtaking on you. I highly, highly, highly recommend you try them. In the States, I believe e.l.f. is available at Target. I'm not 100% sure if they have all the mineral eyeshadows. In Canada, you have no choice but to order them online, but trust me, it is worth your money. Next, I've got a few mascaras that I think are worth mentioning. First, I've got the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. This is extremely volumizing, very lengthening, separates like a dream. I know a lot of people don't like the rubber applicator, and I wasn't a huge fan of rubber applicators in the past either. I believe the only rubber applicator that I was into was the Maybelline Define Lash in the volumizing formulation, but this mascara is so good that I completely look past the rubber applicator. I don't know if it's the formulation or the applicator, but this makes my eyelashes look sexual. Then we have the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This again has a rubber applicator. It's very similar to the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara, which by the way is also an amazing mascara. But again, I have to say, I don't know if it's the applicator or the formula that makes my eyelashes so Full. I was really skeptical when I picked this up because I'm usually very skeptical when it comes to mascara. I've done quite a few mascara reviews on my website, which I will link below, but this blew me away. I cannot believe how much length and volume this gives me. It really adds an extra layer of fullness to my lashes, and on the days where I'm not a lazy ass and I actually curl my lashes, they're like, bam. So if you haven't tried it, I highly recommend this one as well. And then I've got the Maybelline The Mega Plush Volume Express. The wand actually bends and it's super, super flexible. I would recommend this for anybody who's looking for a natural mascara. I find that this gives insane length great volume, but it doesn't look like you're wearing mascara. The first time I tried it, I was blown away. I posted a photo on Instagram of it, and you can see a really huge difference in my eyelashes. A little bit goes a long way. One tip I would give you when using this mascara is when you're removing it, make sure to use a makeup wipe or some kind of makeup remover. For some reason, I find it doesn't just come off with water. Something about the formula makes it feel really different from other mascara formulas. I haven't put my finger on it yet, but it's different. Different is not always a bad thing, because it makes my lashes look awesome. So for the girl who just kind of throws on mascara, some lip gloss, and a little bit of blush and is out the door, this is for you. Your lashes will look like your own, but very va va voom. This next product, I kid you not, I have picked up easily 30 to 40 times. I wish that I was exaggerating, like literally I think I've had about 40 of these. And they are the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powders. I specifically kept these to show you them because I use them so much. I actually went and picked a new one up today because they're having a sale on them. In case you're wondering, I usually go between a warm one and a warm two. I'm just gonna open up my new one. Nothing quite like opening up a new product. So these to me are very comparable to the MAC Studio Fix powders. I used to use the MAC Studio Fix powders when I was like 19 or 20 and they used to break me out like a mofo. So I stopped using them and then I found these and I've literally been using them for about six years. You can use these dry, you can use them wet, you can apply them with a powder brush, you can apply them with a flat top brush. A little bit goes a long way. Amazing coverage, great shade selection. So if you're looking for a really high coverage powder or you've had problems with MAC Studio Fix breaking you out, definitely give these a try. You will not regret it. They come with a little mirror and sponge. I personally am not one for makeup sponges like this. I like to use the puffs. And again, these range in price from like $12, $13, or $14. 
but I would say the quality of them is that of a $40 powder, honestly. Amaze balls. All right, so for those of you looking for a drugstore highlight, I have mentioned this in a previous video and I'm gonna mention it again. This is the Hard Candy So Baked Bronzer in Tiki. I don't know why they've marketed this as a bronzer. I don't know who would use this as a bronzer shade, but regardless, it is an absolutely beautiful highlight. I wouldn't say that it has as much pigment or payoff as the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, but it looks great on almost all skin tones. You can use it as eyeshadow, you can use it as a brow bone highlight. It's very versatile, it's a beautiful shade, and I would say it's probably my favorite drugstore highlight. It's sort of beige with a little bit of gold running through it. Absolutely beautiful. I think it retails at around $7, and you can find hard candy at Walmart. One last product that I've spoken about in previous videos is the e.l.f. Studio Baked Blush, and this one is in Peachy Cheeky but I'm talking about all the shades in general, not just this one. They are absolutely beautiful. I highly, highly recommend these for every skin tone. Beautiful payoff. I find a lot of inexpensive mineral products don't really adhere to your skin and they just kind of fly off. Not the case with these bad boys. They retail at $3 and again you can find e.l.f. at Target in the States and in Canada you'll have to order them online. Awesome value, super compact, you can just throw them in your purse and you're good to go. Mwah! All right, so I think that about concludes part two of my drugstore heroes. Again, if you haven't seen the first one, I will link it in the description box below, along with a billion other things that I talked about. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will continue to do drugstore heroes in the future. P.S. Thank you guys so much for all of your feedback on my 50 random facts about me tag. I'm so relieved that you guys accept the weirdo that is me. It makes me feel so much better to come on camera and know that you guys like accept me and holy shit we have so much in common it's ridiculous your guys's comments actually made my life as for my other videos that i've been promising you such as the brush video it's just a lot of really weird angles that i had to shoot and a lot of editing so i promise to make it worth your while i'm so glad i didn't take a nap this was so much more fun it's saturday night so hopefully i won't stay home i kind of want to go watch world war z because it's out now and i'm so amped I did read some iffy reviews on it, so I don't know how I feel about that, but I'll be the judge of it. And if you guys aren't familiar with World War Z, it's a movie about the zombie apocalypse, so obviously I'm all over it. As usual, my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and whatever else will be listed in the description box below. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for being so rad. Have a magical day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.